Today we're looking at the Bixelon XD340D label printer and we're trying to get these 32 by 25 small labels working on Shopify. So the first thing you want to do is obviously load the labels into the printer. So very easy to do on the Bixelon. These things are springy, just pull them apart, feed the label through and then close the lid. Now the other good thing with the Bixelon is it does an automatic check of the gap in the labels here. So if we just press the feed button, and as long as you're getting one label coming out, when you, every time you press the feed button, you know it's good. And that's the same for most label printers too. If you get more than one label coming out every time you press that button, you've got a problem with the sensor, the label's stuck over it, or something's not quite right. So once you've got it to that stage, we should be ready to set it up on the PC. First thing we need to do is download some drivers for this printer. You're going to go to bixolon.com, that's B-I-X-O-L-O-N dot C-O-M. Choose where you're from, where Asia Pacific and what language you want to use. And then you're going to use the search up here, click on the little search icon and you're going to put in here XD3-40D XD340D which is the model of the label printer. Click on the picture there and then scroll down here a bit until you get to the right printer, that one and click download and then scroll down here. The one we want is the Software Seagull Windows driver. Tick that box and then click on the download over on the right there. You'll see that starts downloading up to here and we'll just fast forward this for you so you don't have to wait for it to come down. And when that finishes downloading you'll see it'll pop up up here with a link that we need any moment now. All going well. Click on pixelon.zip and then you can double click on the zip file here and double click on the Seagull label driver and then double click the Pixelon, go extract all and just putting it in the documents, don't really want to go there, we'll maybe move this to going into downloads but just save it wherever you know you're going to be able to get access to it again go downloads extract and then we want this one here Seagull Windows label driver double click on the pixel on XE we're going to accept the terms and go next leave that, oh where's that putting it to? desktop don't really want it on a desktop. Maybe move that into documents, but just anywhere that you want to put it really. And then run driver wizard. We don't want to read the installation instructions. Click finish. Let that load up. I want to say yes to that warning. Install printer drivers. That's what we want to do. So we'll click next. Our printer is connected by USB. So that's what we want. Oh, it's not coming up, so we're going to turn it off here. Turn off the power to the printer on the back, switch on the back, and then turn it back on again. And just see if that maybe helps it find it. No, we don't have a USB cable plugged in properly, so let's do that. There we go. Now it's found it and given us the Bixlon XD340. Connect it on a USB port, we're going to go next. Do not share this printer, we don't need to share it, but if you wanted to share it on your network you could set that up. We're going to go next, and then to finish we go finish. It should install the Windows printer drivers for the Bixelon, says the device is ready, we'll go close. Okay, now we want to set up the stock, so we need to set up the label size for that printer. So go into your Windows thing here, you can either go settings, find it that way, or just type in printer and then you'll get the printers and scanners and we're looking for the Bixlon XD3 and we're going to go manage. The one we want here are printing preferences 
and you'll see here a, a tab up the top for stock we need to create a new stock which is going to be what we do use current printer settings direct thermal media type right I don't think we want to adjust anything there Oh, here's where we set the stock here. So back in page setup, stock, we're going to do a new stock, and we needed it to be a width of 32 millimeters and a height of 25 millimeters for these small labels we've got. Now the exposed liner widths, uh, 1.3, 1.3, that should be okay. And we want to give it a name, we're going to call it 32 by 25 so we can find it easily next time. And we're going to go OK to that. See, there we go, 32 by 25. Portrait. It should be OK. Let's go Apply. And OK. Right, so now if we open up our Shopify store, Should open up the store so we can then go into our barcode labels app and see if we can print some labels, eh? So we go here, here's our apps here, retail barcode labels. And what we need to do is create a new template. So we go create template here, and we're gonna call it 32 by 25 millimeters. And it's not any of these standard settings here. You're going to have to go other label type here. And then in this drop down, scroll right down to the bottom. And you want the 10010038. So this option here. And that's a 32 by 25 mil label. 1.25 inches by 1 inch. So 32 by 25. That's the one we're looking for. And over on this side, you select what you want to print on the label. So I don't need an SKU number, so I'm going to get rid of that. I just want a name there, a price, and the barcode. So that looks pretty good. And we're going to go create template. Okay, so we've created the 32 by 25 mil template. Now if we go to print labels... And we'll just choose any old product here, the very top one. We're going to add that. And we just want to print one label. And we want to choose the label template we just made, 32 by 25 mil. And make sure the scale is set to 100%. This is 32 by 25. It's going to the Zebra printer, which is what we're doing. Except it's a pixel on, but the idea is the same. Okay, now we go print one label. And we need to change the destination to be the pixel on. And we need to change the paper size yeah, to be the 32 by 25 we created. And the scale's custom to 100. And that looks pretty good on the picture. Obviously, too much text, so it's not going to fit on that little label. But the idea is there. Okay, and then we're just going to print that. Okay, so now we've got the barcode label printed out. You can see there. It's a very small barcode, so it's a little bit tricky, but if you hold the scan in the right place, that'll scan and come up on the iPad there with the product. Cool, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, get in touch.